Hey everybody, I wanted to show you a quick hack for attendance and trying to keep track of all your students who are either virtual learning or in class or out sick. And I know it can be kind of a struggle at the moment trying to keep track of all the students and what's going on and you probably have a really long spreadsheet that is hard to maintain. So this is how you can maintain it with one click. Here we go. Let me show you. Class Dojo is a completely free app and platform that works in conjunction on your cell phone as well as on your computer. It's really handy. Anyhow, one of the things I really like about this app is there's this point system that can help you manage classroom behavior and the students don't even have to know about it. It might be something that you keep private to help you when it comes time to grading, figuring out how the students were in class. So how this works is there are positive points and there are negative points. A positive point would be like they are on task, right? So you give them a point and then you can see how they are doing. There are also needs work points. Sometimes this helps when you see a lot of students. Like for instance, I see about 500 kids a week. So it's not easy for me to remember always what happened in class from the week before. So this kind of helps me remember what was happening. Okay, so back to our hack. Instead of positive points or negative points, you can also add zero points. Now these are great ways to give yourself reminders about things that are happening in class. Anyhow, it can also work in a different way for attendance. So for instance, you may want to have something called in class or you may want to have something virtual learning, or maybe the kid is actually out sick. This can help you remember if a student was present during a specific lesson or project. Let's go and set this up. I'm going to edit these skills and I am going to create a new skill. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to do an add skill and I'm going to find a computer for virtual learning. So I'll just do that and I'm going to say virtual learning. I'm going to give it zero points and save it here. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna do a new one. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one for in class. So this is going to be in class. I'm gonna do one more. And this one I'm going to do is out sick and keep it at zero points. Now you have an option for parents to see these points. I like to have no points for the parents to see, especially if you're gonna do something like this. It's really important that parents don't have access to this information. So we're basically using it as our attendance. They do have an attendance option, but it's not quite tailored for virtual learning yet. So how would you use this? So it's all set up and let's go back to our demo class. Okay, so let's say that you want to select a few people that are at home. So down here you can do select multiple. They also have this option on the cell phone. So I'm going to select multiple and do Bradley Pitt, Allie Berry, and Matthew Damon. And these students are all going to be at home. Let's do virtual learning. And this will be added for those students. And then you can do maybe Johnny Depp is out sick and Cameron is in person. If you want to see these results, then what you do is on the computer version of Class Dojo, you go into Options, View Reports. Here you will be able to see specific types of inputs that you have put in. If you want to see a specific date, you can go here and do a custom date range. You can also do all of the time. And if you don't want to see it in this donut shape, you can download the spreadsheet and it will pop up ready to go as a spreadsheet file, which you can save and either upload into Excel or you can drop it into your Google Drive. And now I will show you how to do this on your cell phone. Okay, so here is my cell phone version of the app and you can see my students here again. Up in the left-hand corner, you see a little box with a check mark. So you could push that if you want to choose multiple students. So let's go back and choose a couple people to be Maybe this time these people are in class and then perhaps we have someone that is out sick. So all this is done on your phone, which makes it really handy if you have something up on the computer and you don't want the kids to see what you're doing on your cell phone. The thing is if you put something on your cell phone, it will show up on the computer if you have both open at the same time. So also keep that in mind because it may be something that you don't want to show all the kids. If this video is helpful, please give it a like and let me know in the comments what you need help with in the classroom.